So today I'm just going to literally go clockwise around my kitchen. It's not that big. And I'm just going to walk you through all of the different ways you can save more money in your kitchen by adopting some of these habits. I did like the normal five second tidy I do usually. So this is my honest raw, always how it looks kitchen, which is one of the leakiest financial rooms in the house, if you know what I mean. So let's get to it. So first the heart of the kitchen is the stove. And I want to show you this. I think I can lift it with one hand is a cast iron pan. These things are durable. They're really cheap and they will live longer than you. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, see how there's like different size burners on each stove? Yeah, you wanna make sure you're matching the pan you're using to the burner size. If you have a little tiny pot on one of the big burners, you can be wasting as much as 40% of the energy. And I used to think like, well, it's just heating up the sides of the pot, right? No, it's just going out into the room and wasted. So you're spending all kinds of energy that you didn't need to. So use the right size pan for the burner. All right, next we've got dishwasher, not full. So it is not run yet. <laughs> next, this is my coffee maker, uh, story time. <laughs> so a couple weeks ago, our carafe, like the glass carafe, it broke. It was the second time it broke. My husband had tried to contact the manufacturer and he just didn't want to do it again because they weren't making a quality product. So he knew that this was the exact coffee maker he wanted. Uh, but instead of paying like $170, which it is on Amazon, he decided to check Facebook Marketplace just to like see. And yes, there was one listed for $15 the next town over. Ka-ching! So check Facebook Marketplace for kitchen stuff. Because <laughs> people, especially like kitchen appliances, people are always buying new fangled things, thinking, ooh, if I just buy this one device, it'll help me cook more in the kitchen. And then because everything else about their habits haven't changed, you just get this like growing pile of appliances that never get used. And then eventually people sell them on Facebook Marketplace to people like me for a huge discount. So this right here is my compost bucket, which is a big way we save money on trash costs because uh, trash bags in my city are expensive. Like you have to buy fancy trash bags that like the city provides and I hate it. Um, but it does help the environment, All right, so I do it. But um, we compost a lot of our food waste because how often are you throwing away bags of garbage when they're not actually full, they're just really stinky? And usually they're stinky because of food waste. So we try to compost a lot in a you know place out in the back. Um, and you'll also notice like one of those teeny tiny back there, you got like one of those like bug catchers you make from uh, apple cider vinegar. Like, yeah, good stuff. And that is not like some fancy compost thing. That is actually one of the little buckets from the hotel. We didn't steal it, I promise. <laughs> we, we bought it at like a, a flea market store for like $3. So yeah, that works really well. <laughs> Next, I just wanna take a second and talk about beauty. I know that's kind of a weird thing to think about, but if your kitchen isn't a place you really enjoy spending time in, you're gonna wanna spend a lot less time in it. And that probably means you're gonna have to like spend money on takeout or a lot of cheap convenience foods because Otherwise, how are you going to feed yourself? So I like to keep things really clean. Thanks, husband. He taught me that. Have a good sink, clean sink every night. And also just like, you know, like little pictures and little little candles. You know, just, just make it feel nice. All right, so this is our pantry. It's actually just like a couple shelves really high, but it's what the house came with, so it's what we use. And I've recently reorganized the pantry so that the stuff on the bottom shelves is stuff that's more filling and healthy. So, you know, like, Breakfast, I mean the cereal, I don't know, cereal, but oatmeal, uh, lots of peanut butter, seeds, nuts, fruits, and then way up at the top, you got stuff like popcorn and, and goldfish, which isn't as filling or healthy. And so if I have things at eye level that are better and more filling, it's going to end up saving you money. <laughs> I have plans for a pantry video that'll be a little more in depth, but you get the gist for now. Are you actually interested in a pantry video? I mean, if no one is, then I won't do it, but. Let me know in the comments. But before I forget, I've got, I, I've talked about this before, but it's really important, like homemade mixes of stuff. There was a video I made a few months ago and I talked about how I'm kind of a cocoa snob. Guess what? I'm not. When my favorite cocoa started being sold for $7 for this teeny bottle, I realized I have to figure out something else. So it turns out I didn't just like the fancy cocoa, I just like sugar. And, and there was a lot of it in the cocoa mix. So I just started making my own, which is just cocoa and sugar and a little bit of salt and voila, it tastes fine. <laughs> Homemade mixes, taco seasoning, Italian seasoning, those kind of things are pennies on the dollar if you make them at home when you have like bulk spices as opposed to buying those little packets. Well, last but not least, if the stove is the heart of your kitchen, the fridge is the lungs, you can't have a kitchen that's going to save you money in the long run without a good fridge. However, one of my tricks is that we actually don't keep our fridge super full. I, 
I know that this one's really personal for a lot of people, especially like if you ever struggled with food insecurity, like the sight of that empty fridge can just like trigger something in your brain that makes you not think well until the fridge is full again. But I have learned over the years that the fridge is the number one source of food waste because that's the stuff that's most perishable. That's the stuff that you're going to lose fastest if you don't eat it up fast enough. We're not trying to keep the fridge empty. We just really focus a lot on buying things for the freezer and our, you know, our shelf stable pantry. And we keep the fridge stuff to things we know we're going to consume within the week pretty much. And that does help save a lot of money. <laughs> but of course, if you don't know what you're gonna eat every week, then I don't know, if you're anything like me, then you're really screwed because you'll just be like, ah, I don't know, I don't have enough. I can't think of anything. There's kids being hungry and I don't know what to do. Let's order Domino's. <laughs> so that's why I always, every single week do a meal plan and I put it right here so I see it and I don't stress. And if you want to know an even faster way of meal planning, you can go to, I don't know if it's gonna be over here, like over there, I'll put it in one of the corners. You can go see my meal planning video of how to, if you want to know an even faster way than you might have even thought to meal plan. Yeah, my kids asked me to, to draw our family as, as crabs. You can, you can guess which ones they are. <laughs>